this is Bryce with Data Master. I'm going to show you how to set up a custom export in CVR MLS in order to use it with Data Master. Uh, this is a real simple process. It should just take you maybe two or three minutes. So I'm already logged into the MLS here. I'm on the home screen. We want to go to the My Matrix section, so I'll just hover over this tab and go down to the last option that says Settings. On the Settings page, we're going to be setting up a custom export. Click the Custom Exports button. If you have any custom exports here already, don't worry about them. You can just leave them the way they are. You won't need to make any changes, but you do want to add one. So we're going to click the Add Export button. In this Export Definition window, the first thing we want to do is name our export, so I'm going to call it Data Master. And then from the list of available fields here, we actually need six different fields in order for us to calculate your information properly and get all the properties that we need. And we need to add them in this order as well. So the first field that we need is, is the uh, listing number. So I'm just going to search for ML and add in the MLS number. The next number is the property ID. You can just type in PID and add in that field. The third field is going to be the address. Type ADD and we will find address. Add that in. Next we need the state. So I'll just start typing out state here. Add that in. The fifth field is going to be the county or city. So find county, city, add that in. And one more field, the last field is the zip code. And we don't need the plus four, just the regular zip will work. So we add that in. The next option we want to uh, change is the column name. Instead of none, we want to use the label option. The separator here, you can just leave set to comma. The last option down here is your export description. You can add a description here if you want to, such as data master again. It really isn't necessary though, just go ahead and leave it blank. So once you have these fields set up, again, you need Data Master as the export name. Be sure that you have these six fields added in the order that we have them and change this to Label. All we have to do then is click Save, click Done. That will add it in. And that's it. You'll have Data Master as an export. Uh, I'm going to so just go ahead and set up a quick search here, show you how it works. I'm going to look for an active property that's, uh, I don't know, like $800,000. See if we can just find a couple matches here. Single families. Looks like we have two active properties. If I wanted to export these to use in a file, I just check the box to select them, click the export button. In the file format here, this data master would be the one that I just set up, so I'll use that as my option, and then click the export button, and there you have the export file. If you have any questions about how this process works, or if you need help setting it up, please give us a call. Our number is 888-362-9222.